Alrighty everyone, thanks for watching another video with us here today. We are looking at a 1922 post office collection mailbox. And um, we obviously have done some work to this mailbox and we wanted to make a quick video to uh, show you exactly what we did. Uh, first and most obvious is let's talk about this base that the mailbox is attached to. This is how we bought it and um, obviously this is a modern piece of cast iron from probably a bird bath or whatever and someone went ahead and, and uh, modified it to uh, bolt to the box. We like it for display purposes because this is a very heavy piece and not a lot of people are going to want to, uh, uh, you know, bolt this to their wall or whatever. So the stand does indeed serve that purpose and does it well. It is quite heavy, so there's no chance of the box tipping over or uh, anything goofy like that. So, um, so we went ahead and painted it. Uh, to match the rest of the paint scheme um, that uh, we uh, applied to this box. And we got that information from an online source. Uh, there was a, uh, uh, a notification, an official post office notification dated 1955, and we actually printed out a copy of it. And we'll include that with the mailbox. And in that, it talks about... Uh, repainting the boxes that are still in uh, service at that time and the proper way to uh, paint them, the paint scheme. So there was also some information about the paint colors and they were both Sherwin-Williams colors. We contacted Sherwin-Williams and attempted to get some information from them but uh, to no avail. So what we did was, as far as the colors are concerned, um, on the blue, we were able to, and I'm going to open up this right here to show you. Um, this is the original wall or pole mount bracket. Uh, actually, it is a pole mount because obviously you can see that this, this is the surface on the right that would mount to the pole. And then this would uh, the mailbox would slide down onto this, and that little spring latch right there would pop into that little slot right there, just like that, and voila, the box would not be able to be removed because the only way to get it off would be to push that little spring lever right there from the inside of the box. So anyways, on this part, when we took it off the back, um, still had some of the original blue paint, enough that we were able to take it to our local uh, hardware store and uh, have it uh, computer color matched, and that's how we got the blue, and the blue turned out awesome. Um, it's a Valspar color, uh, and so we went ahead. On the red, we were unable to uh, get a paint match off the box. There was like little to no red on this box um, because of how many times it's been repainted uh, since the 50s. And um, eventually, I think they went to an all blue. Anyways, so we chose another Valspar color that was uh, already um, in production, and that is a safety red, I believe. Uh, these are uh, um, enamel oil-based paints, so they're going to be super durable. Then we came back and um, did all the lettering by hand with you know, a basic bright white uh, enamel oil and put uh, two coats on all the lettering, which includes the pull down right here for your uh, your mail slot on the top and the two sides and the front. Um, so the paint, that's done. Um, the box, the inside of the box never showed much paint. So we basically just cleaned it up and left it alone. We did not paint the inside of the box. Uh, the lock, um, there would have been a square type uh, lock that was bolted in place, I believe from the inside, and would have had a small cam that came up and down right here to lock the door in place. 
trying to track one of those down that's going to fit these same holes um, was not going to happen. So what we did instead was bought a, a regular cam lock. We bought a separate um, extended cam and then bent it appropriately to make sure that you could close it and voila. You know, painted the lock to match. Everything, um, this piece of trim right here, we pulled that off. That was painted separately. The lock was painted separately. Um, the base and the mailbox were painted separately. So it's not like everything's bonded together with a bunch of gooey paint. So um, we wanted to make it as um, professional a paint job as we could. The one thing we did not want to do, and you can see in the light, there, uh, there's, I mean, literally decades and decades of paint chip and even some decals, I believe, over the years on the sides. And we could have paid to have this bead blasted and it wouldn't have cost a whole lot. But we didn't feel like it was appropriate to make this thing look like brand new because then you lose all the history. I mean, you can see um, just the, the, the decades and decades of wear and tear and, and the whole nine yards. So um, what we wanted to do was make it fresh, but at the same time keep the history. And I believe that's what, uh, you know, if this box was still hanging, let's say, you know, 30 years ago or 40 years ago or whatever, you know, we did exactly what they would have done at the time. And that's, you know, clean it up and put a good paint job on it and put it back into use. So anyways, um, not a whole lot else to be said. It, it is worth noting that the mail uh, slot door portion is solid brass. When we cleaned that up, um, you could see a lot of the brass, especially in where the lettering is. Um, so that was kind of cool. Um, other than that, uh, we know it's from the boxes from 1922 because underneath where the uh, uh, base clamps to right here bolts to uh, it is um, stamped in there in giant numbers 1922 so obviously that's the year that the box was produced uh, beyond that like we said we got the original bracket to fit there if you've got a pole or something uh, or even a wall um, that you want to mount it to, then you're going to be able to do that. So lastly and very quickly, the only way the price is going to get any cheaper on this mailbox is one of two ways. If you buy it from us directly, and there's information in the description uh, that will assist you in that, um, or if we ship it without the base. The base obviously adds a lot of weight and a lot of size to the package, and it's going to make it expensive. If for some reason the buyer wants just the box, we'll be happy to unbolt that and, uh, and send just the box. And that will save quite a bit on shipping, and we can take that off the price. Those are the only two ways. Um, we're not going to discount the price on eBay. Um, it's just not going to happen. So, um, Unless, like we said, if you don't want the base, you know, we, we'll be able to work something out that way. But anywho, that's it. It's an awesome box. Um, we put a lot of love into it. Again, we'll send that paperwork um, uh, with it from the uh, post office dated 1955. Talks about the paint scheme and the colors and all that good stuff. And uh, that's about it. So we appreciate you looking and uh, we'll appreciate more of you buying. Thanks.